so um, this is our part 5 video I'm just continuing the fourth part 4 video now so as we know like our zookeeper is already started and all three brokers are also started one two and three IDs so let's minimize it and uh, this is a new window here and the first thing we need to create a topic on these uh, uh, all the ports or all brokers whoever are active this time So to create a topic, uh, you'll use the Kafka topics.sh and here we will define the number of brokers. So like we have 9093, we have port number 9094 and we have 9095 and uh, we also need to require partitions suppose 3 the same way the replication factor now we can choose more than one replication factor as we have multiple brokers so let's have 3 and uh, topic name we can choose something like Kafka cluster and let's create it okay this has been created the cluster name is Kafka cluster so just to check that and uh, let's check how many topics are now Kafka cluster is here that's fine okay let's clear this window let's start the Kafka producer now Kafka console producer search and uh, and uh, let's have a bootstrap server and I will uh, as I have three brokers this time 9093 9094 and 9095 ports right so I will use one port so let's suppose this is 9093 and uh, my topic name is Kafka cluster as I when I create this cluster I define these all three ports there so I'm using the 9093 only Oh, I think we are missing something. Mm, that's fine. And give the space here. It normally happens when you write the command. So many times you miss the syntax. Okay, this has been started now, and I I will write something. This is this is broker nine zero nine three, and uh, one more message you can write nine zero nine three. Can you hear me? okay so two message has been published on this port number 9093 
and especially if I go inside that so this is our Kafka folder under data and as I'm using the 9093 where the loop path is this right so this is our Kafka uh, this is our topic right so and this server 2 denote the 9094 9095 so okay so let's uh, use uh, another window okay and uh, i will use now a consumer who will just check to receive these messages so let's have bootstrap server and uh, I will choose different port uh, 9094 okay and our topic name is Kafka cluster okay and let's have from beginning here okay yes so and uh, as you can see like uh, we got uh, those two messages here while uh, we are uh, connecting on 9094 right that's mean the as zookeeper is managing all three brokers but here as you can see like uh, those these messages have been synced on 9094 port also so if i stop uh, this for a minute and i check with the uh, different port let's suppose 9095 so let's see whether the sync has happened with this port also or not yes the messages are sync with the 9094 port also right so now if you write i'm happy you can receive me right so you can see that the producer is producing the messages on 9093 port but and here the consumer is connecting with the 9095 and he's able to receive them this message so this is the something very good benefit here uh, of this replication uh, whenever uh, a different port is active to listen the message then this can happen and Kafka will uh, take the responsibility to sync all the messages uh, to all to the brokers whoever you mention at the time of uh, uh, when you define the topic so as we know like we defined 9093 4 and 5 3 ports there so in this way <clears throat> this is the main benefit of this uh, uh, multiple broker things uh, in my next videos I will upload a video about the Kafka streams Kafka streams API and what are the benefits of Kafka stream API so we'll start that so let's meet in the next video and thank you so much please uh, if, if, the, if you find the videos informational for you please subscribe my channel thank you